uh good day all of you uh today we are going to look on this uh plant diversity uh bio 112 plant diversity so at first we need to study uh um why do you study plants actually the reasons why we are studying plants why plants why do we study plants we should know that uh plants are uh, life totally depends on photosynthesis uh this is a process which are pl uh, plants get their own food so we study we study plants because they are one their source of food we we eat cereals vegetables these are the uh food that we obtain from plants or oh, this objective simply means um the importance of of, of plants uh to their fuels uh, firewoods bio biofuels and petroleum these are obtained from from plants you know that the university of Botswana now is producing its own fuel uh the biofuel they are cotton uh sorts of uh, clothing uh we have cotton of linen uh this you obtain from 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 plants medicines uh uh those who you go deep into farm uh, pharmacognosy there you learn about the medic medicinal ingredients some plant they they carry the active pharmaceutical ingredient they carry the active pharmaceutical ingredient so traditional medicines and some western medicines they are also are uh, used for plants and you need to know that uh africa out of the 45,000 species that are of plants that are there in africa 5,000 species are used for medicines uh, you can see that our plants a lot of medicines are obtained from plants that's sort of timber like uh paper and uh, and furniture uh this is this is the timber which are talking about like most of these papers that are using are uh, we obtain from plants and source of also source of other um, school stationary materials such as rubber and all these kinds of things uh we house housing uh, we need the plants to to house uh, buildings and thatch, grass, poles, ropes. Uh, we we use the plants. Uh, so many chemicals are derived from plants. Uh, example, uh, alcohols. Uh, like through the process of fermentation, there uh, where you 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 be taking grains and all doing all these type kinds of things like you always do do in cake repost and all these kind of things so frag fragrances like just mine uh like most of the fragrances are obtained from 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 plants uh flavorings such as vanilla and also colorings uh, we we obtain food colorings we yes, we obtain them from 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 plants food colorings and other colorings except from food colorings which we used to to paint or uh, do all kinds of clothing we obtain from from plants so other things that um the plants they 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 absorb they help to clean the atmosphere at uh, this uh they clean the atmosphere by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing what releasing oxygen and releasing oxygen and you need to point out that um plants have a uh, spiritual healing uh, some people are using uh, spiritual affairs like you some people believe that some certain plants uh that associated with other spirits and they may use some certain plants to like counter erect or or deal with other spiritual things and plants that are used in religious in religious worship uh in some religions people marry plants these are the social use of plants plants someone will just marry a plant especially if uh in hindu if you believe that you have a karma of or of uh, uh karma or bad luck of marriage uh, you just marry a plant and all uh, you believe that your things is going to be well uh, so actually what is a plant if if I if if we can ask you what is a plant what 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 are you going to say uh, a plant is a multicellular multicellular photosynthetic eukaryote mind you uh multicellular we say that uh multiple cells eh? uh prokaryo i mean uh you carry what you mean that these are uh, civilized cells uh they have organelles meaning that your plant will have a uh, mature organelles inside ranging from ribosomes uh smooth reticulum rough uh golgi apparatus uh chloroplast 
mitochondrion nucleus that's their plant there yeah? so photo photosynthetic it means that some uh, ability to make e your own food yeah uh, so plants they are autotrophic autotrophic it means that they can make their own food and uh, we can see that the plants because they're photosynthetic 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 uh, that means that they produce sugars from carbon dioxide in the process of light and gives off oxygen. Like plants that are going to, they, they, they make use of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, producing what? Producing oxygen. Uh, cannot move but with few exceptions. But plants, they can't move loco, locomo, uh, they are not motile. Uh, like the locomotion part is not available but the movement part is available so they can't move from point a to b like moving from uh from this kind of village to that village but they can shake uh, we can say the movement is upon the their axis they can move upon their axis so they respond to the environment differently from animals uh like uh, tropism is one of the responses uh, they can respond to tropism uh, gravity photo i mean light and uh, touch they can respond and they can also respond to, to water uh they have, they have different ways of respond of response cell walls their cells are surrounded by a rigid cell wall mind you this rigid cell wall is different from the cell wall from bacteria the bacterial cell wall is the peptide or glycan or the marine uh, but now this cell wall is so rigid because we say uh, their rigidity uh, influence the, the, the rigid of cell wall influence the tachydity inside because fluid are going to fill inside and are not going to get out of the cell wall so that's why plants can stand still and they can be long as they are long like that so plants have been plants have unique ways of development and regeneration that develop the, their ways of developing are so unique uh you can uh agree with me that uh plants sometimes like their cuttings develop they develop in form of cutting circles are sexual these are sexual production and also they can also develop uh, using a uh, sexual ways of, of of reproduction uh how are plants are uh, then classified how are plants then classified? Uh, plants, uh, according to Asadav, Asadav it all to, uh, the, the 2008, now we are citing the Sadav. So plants, they have been uh, divided into two major categories. Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, there are other scientists who have come, came up with different ways of classifying plants. But we are going to use Sadav as a standard uh, in, 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 in Bachelor of Science General by one by one one two if i'm not mistaken so there are two major categories vascular plants and non-vascular plants so vascular plants these are tracheophytes tri tracheophytes these are this they have conducting cells called the tracheids or the or, or vascular they have the tracheids which are the conducting cells we call this vascular plants so the tracheophytes so Vascular plants like from uh, IGCSE and all this uh, BGCSE, you, I hope you, you learned about that, that plant, these are uh, vascular bangles. Uh, take it from that understanding, you understand it better. So these are if conduct, conducting cells are called tracheids or vascular. We have also non-vascular plants. So the non-vascular plants, these are non-tracheophytes. So non-tracheophytes, these are plants uh, without a conducting uh system they don't have a conducting system uh, or, or tracheids uh, these are the non-vascular plants so the non-vascular plants uh, and the vascular plants are further divided now into these cleaves of or clades i mean into the groups or clades so the non-vascular plants are, are further divided into three hab the hub the hyp hypertrophyta and anthocerophyta and bryophyta so hepato means liver so liverworts so the common name is liverworts ladies and gentlemen you need to know these names because uh, in your test one i'm going to ask you to to drag or to to use lines to to match our uh, the common name and the or uh, and the scientific name so the hepatophyta these are liverworts and the antho Fighter, these are one words and the brio fighter these are mosses so the way you pronounce these words pronounce these words in a way that you'll be able to write them down you see hepa 
helper to a fighter so even my tone i'm making sure that my tone is uh, i'm making is in line with my writing because this way sometimes they can seem to be challenging uh, vascular plants are further divided into two which are non-seed trichophytes non-seed trichophytes these are plants uh, which cannot form seeds and we have also seed trichophytes seed trichophytes these are plants which can form seeds so the non-seed trichophytes that are going to specialize um, uh, in, in this bio one bio one one two are in the university of botswana these are the liquefied uh, and the pteridophyte so the but when you spell it don't say pteridophyte just say p pteridophyte p so that you are, you are able to to do what to write them down you are able to write them down the pteridophyte uh these are the fence and fence alleys and uh we have the liquefyte these are the club mosses liquefyte these are just club mosses and the classification uh of 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 seed trichophytes that are further divided into two the gymnosperms and uh angiosperms so angiosperms these are just flowering plants angiosperms these are just flowering plants and also uh we are going to look at uh this uh what do you call uh gymnosperms uh if cicadophyta these are cicads and ginkrophyta these are ginkros and these are Netophyta, these are the netophytes and uh, the the coniferophyta, these are the conifers. And the assignment which I can give you from today's lecture is go and make sure that you know a you know them all these phylums. You take yeah, you search in uh, in internet so that you can find you know the structure of liverworts like see just seeing them and appreciate and appreciating them. Uh, join me in another lecture and Please go and write these assignments whereby uh, you are going to write the hypertrophyta, a peak of hypertrophyta, where is found the living environments, uh, the biophyta, a, a, a peak, even if from internet is good, and then send it to the following email of Monmas uh, Kingdoms Academics at gmail.com or you send it uh, in the email of Mundatimasalila at gmail.com. Uh, those who have WhatsApp is plus two six seven plus two six seven seven six five four two five one seven plus two six seven seven six five four two five one seven i even i you can just send wherever you are in outside africa in outside africa you can just send so that we can see your progress and you can just learn for learn with us in youtube for free you just do our assignment send we mark for you and we give you feedback so please make sure that after you listen to this video share it in whatsapp status share it here in facebook share it in uh, Instagram and all so that we are uh, we help uh, those ones who have us uh, uh, trouble in, in biology I will see you in my next lecture